In this video, we will be talking about the light dependent resistor or what we call LDR. So what is the definition of LDR? LDR or the light dependent resistor varies its resistance based on the amount of light hits the surface. So basically in this part of our LDR, we can also measure the resistance and use that to determine the level of light present. I want you to take note about this discussion because um, the exercise is quite um, related to this discussion. Okay, so let's proceed. So if you can see it here, um, our LDR or light dependent resistor um, has two tails. Um, both tails are actually, you can assign any type of pole, either positive or negative pole. But basically for this one, um, if there is something, uh, if there is a analog signal coming from the AO of our, or A0 from our Arduino Uno, um, that's already positive, right? So we need to have a ground or negative charge to be added in the other tail, okay? So, so for our example, um, I will be showing you an LDR with, like this one, I'll be showing you an LDR with LED lights, okay? So let me show you first mine. One moment. I need to pull up my finger cap. Okay, so uh -huh. this is already my project number seven. And this is for one moment. Hmm, what happened? Let me double check. Mm -hmm. Where is my I can't find my moment okay here finger cab circuits here uh, we'll be using this one tinker this then I will be changing the name to project 7 and this is LDR with LED okay so let's start first with the connection of course we need to use this type of breadboard or this type of development board we need to like this Next, uh, first thing that I need to do is I need to get the resistor, uh, sorry, the LDR. So if you will search LDR here, um, there will be no result because um, the LDR can be also considered as a photoresistor. So you need to look for the photoresistor and you will be able to see something like this. Okay? Okay, now... Um, let's go ahead and have a connection first. So I need to put the resistor, a photoresistor here in this part. Okay, that one. Then I need to have a um, 5 volts coming from here. That one. 5 volts, it's a positive charge. So basically... I'll be changing the color of this one to black, for example. Next, um, ground or GND. I'll be changing this one to neg uh, to red color. This one. There we go. Okay, so we're done with the positive and negative charge. This time, I need to have a. I need to have an AO. 
or I will be using the analog signal A0 and I will be assigning that one directly to the in this part and I'll be changing the color of this one to green okay after that I should also have a connection um, from I'm sorry I should also have a connection from my resistor okay so again if, um, in every um, electric um, electrical component or electrical equipment there should be a resistor even though that it's called a photoresistor it's better that you will insert a resistor okay so that it will not break so I'll be getting a resistor resistor should be here and there should be a connection of this resistor going to the negative no sorry this should be going to the negative part okay next and this one this should be in the positive this is positive positive this is black this one it's negative since this is negative there we go it's red okay so since I'm done with the photoresistor part or the LDR part I will proceed to the LED light in the LED light I'll be twirling this one again sorry okay I'm sorry uh, there and I'll be putting that one here there so right now I'll be getting another resistor I'll put the resistor here one moment oh god sorry okay here that one because it should be coming from the negative and I'll be using the digital input 13 to be here in the positive this is anode positive cathode it's negative okay oh, sorry I'll be changing this one to green there we go okay here let me try to code it so in coding it this is quite familiar I know that you will be quite familiar with the coding style that I will be showing you um, however um, there will be um, um, uh, you will encounter an analog read I know that um, you were able to uh, I know that you're exposed already with the digital read and the digital write this time we'll be using analog okay so I need to initialize first the lead and I use digital 13 and I also need to um, um, initialize the LDR because I use the A0 okay that's 0 that is not an O okay let's proceed now um, yeah the lead here it's the output correct sorry next I need to do the pin mode for the LDR this is our input right now and I need to so that you will know um, if it works or not I will be using the serial monitor so I'll be initializing that one here in the void setup so serial.begin it should be 9600 okay next thing that we need to do okay so uh, we need to have a variable that will get the value from the um, 
from the LDR. So basically, I need to create an int LDR status, then analog read, then I'll be calling the LDR here, and semicolon. Okay, so since you already have a variable here, or you already have the LDR status that will get the value, kung say makuha niya, kung say makapture niya na value from the LDR, this time, uh, we will proceed in checking if the LDR status is less than or equal to 300, for example only. So, if the LDR status is less than or equal to 300, um, it should lit up the LED light. Okay? So, as easy as this. So, LDR status less than or equal to 300 then mm -hmm. after that digital right um, this is lead then we'll make it high and we can actually put a serial that print ln sorry LDR is dark, meaning it did not um, get any light from, um, yeah, from any sunlight, for example. Okay, and LED is on. So the lesser the status or the value that the LDR will get, um, the lesser or the darker the light is. So meaning if greater than 300 for example only um, if greater than 300 silaw kay siya okay that's only for an example ha okay next so since I'm done with the if I'll go ahead with the else that's what I said earlier in the else part I will go ahead and copy that one but the lead here it's low and uh, the LDR, uh, LDR is high, lead should be up. Okay, so let's try it. So when we click start simulation, we will click this one here. So, meaning, um, it's showing red right now, or sorry, it's showing that the LED light is on because it's less than, uh, let me show you the, sorry, let me show you the serial monitor. Oh, okay, I think it's better to put the serial monitor here as well. Uh, we also need to um, put here the... LDR status. <coughs> Sorry. Let's try one moment. LDR is dark. Is on. Dark. Hmm, what happened? That is on. So we'll put that one here. Let's see. It's off. This should be off. Okay, one moment. Let me double check this one. Okay. There we go. I think it's because of this one. Wait, I need to double check this. Or basically, I can just add plus. for this one but let me double check this one first mm. 
Hmm. Or let me show you na lang this one instead. Uh -huh. I'll be showing the LDR status so that um, you will be guided why. Okay, let's start simulating. Okay, so the light it's on, okay, because it's six, transfer that one here, it's still on. There you go. We will move that one. It's off already because um, the LDR gets a um, lighter um, light. There. There you go. Okay. There.